All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add up to four phone cameras. So basically using like your phones. So right now I have this phone right here. This is an Android phone. It's connected to my computer using a cable and I have another one. This is my iPhone and I'm going to be able to connect it. And this is going to be 100% wireless. And then you can actually go up to four phones. We're going to be using a free application called iRyan. And this is going to be awesome. If you don't have cameras, you don't have the money, but you already have some iPhones and Android phones laying around. You can actually take advantage of those and be able to build a multi-camera production using just your phone and a free application. And of course, we're going to be connecting that to OBS. So let's not take much time. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? My name is Sammy, watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So, first thing, you need to go to Google Play for the Android phone. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you go to Google Play and download uh, the iRyan application. All right. Just type in iRyan 4K webcam. All right. 4K webcam. And it's going to show up. Just go ahead and download it. All right. Next up, for your iPhone, if you're using an iPhone, it's going to be the same thing. You're just going to go to App Store and download the application and make sure it's downloaded. That's it. Same application. Now, the last step, I mean, it's not the last one, but for getting the application, you're going to go to iRyan.com. I'm going to leave a link down below and you want to make sure you download the same application for Windows, if you're on Windows or for Mac, if you are on Mac. OK, so once downloaded, just go ahead and uh, install it. Click to it, install it. It's super easy. Just follow instructions. But there's one thing that's very, very important during the installation process. So there's a place here where it says the number of cameras. So you want to make sure you actually go ahead and choose four cameras or four phones okay that's gonna give you the option to add up to four phones guys this is important okay that's once that's done basically you're done all you gotta do is you're gonna go ahead go to your android phone and make sure you open the iRyan application so as you can see mine is open already and also i'm gonna go ahead and do the same on my iphone so i'm gonna go ahead and open the iRyan webcam and as you can see it's open as well so the next step, we're going to go ahead and go to our computer as well and type in iRyan and then open the iRyan application that we just installed. And as you can see, it's going to show up here. So once the application is installed, it's going to actually detect both cameras or both phones. Now, the first one is our Android phone. This one is connected via a USB cable, so it's not relying on Wi-Fi. And if I go here under connection, you can see it says Motorola and it says USB. That means it's connected by USB. And what I would actually encourage you if you're doing this type of production, I would say the USB one should be your main camera because the connection is gonna be stronger. It's not relying on Wi-Fi and it's not wireless, it's wired. So I would say make that one your main, main camera. And then before we go to camera two, we're gonna go here under video format and we can change to the resolution that we wish. So. I would say let's use 1920 by 1080 for now. You still have 4K available if you want to use 4K. And then we can go to camera two, which is my iPhone right here. Now, this is 100% wireless. And as you can see, you can choose any camera that you want, by the way. So right now I'm using the front camera, but you can go to the menu and choose the back camera. All right. So now this one, since it's 100% wireless, what we can do is we can go here and or confirm as you can see if it even shows you the battery kind of life kind of thing the juice you have left in the battery okay but as you can see this one is running over wi-fi now the wi-fi part you want to make sure your computer and your phone are both connected on the same network okay that's the only way they're gonna be able to actually kind of sync get the picture from your phone to your computer all right so we have both cameras right now and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to OBS and we're going to go ahead and add both cameras or both angles. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one that I had here. So I'm going to create this scene. I have this scene called phone that I have created before. And I'm just going to rename it. I say Android phone. And then under that scene, we're going to create a new source and we're going to go to video capture device and we're going to call it Android Iron. And then click OK. And then under device, guys, 
if you go here, you can see that you have access to all the four cameras. I run webcam one, two, three, four. So the first one, we're going to go ahead and actually add the first one because that's where our Android phone is connected. And you're going to you want to make sure you go to resolution type and choose custom. And you're going to go ahead and choose 1920 by 1080. I mean, if you want it 4K, we can go 4K, but we don't need it for now. And then hit OK. And as you can see, we have our image super, super strong. Connection is really, really good. And again, everything is connected via USB. Now, the next one is going to be our second camera we are, or our second phone. So we're going to create a new scene and then we're going to call it iPhone. And then we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit the plus sign and then go to video capture device under sources. And then we're going to call it iPhone Hi Ryan. Again, you can call it whatever you want. Hit OK. And then go under device and choose Hi Ryan webcam number two. Now, as you can see, it shows up no problem. We can go to device uh, resolution type, hit custom, and then we can choose the 1920 by 1080, which is the resolution that we want. Again, if you want a 4K, we can go 4K and everything else we can leave the way it is and hit OK. So as you can see, guys, we have two angles that can come from here and then go from here. Obviously, you have to set them up the way you want. Maybe I'll mount it in front of me, something like this, right? And the other one, maybe I will, it will be a top-down shot or whatever. But anyways, you make it whatever you want and make sure it actually looks good, right? So another question that I've been getting actually, because right now we just added two camera angles using our phones, okay? However, if you live streaming using just your phones, you still need to have audio coming in people need to hear you now to be able to do that you need really good microphones like a microphone like this one or have like a wireless microphone and it's actually hard to know how to connect that audio so you can actually live stream with your phones with a good audio and in my next video guys i'm gonna be addressing that problem i'm gonna show you how you can actually add a microphone to your live stream or to obs when you actually streaming using your phone so that video is gonna be linked right here make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care